Welcome, Scorpios, to a special heart spread reading using the Gilded Tarot Classic, my oldest and favorite deck. Um, I'm going to use the heart spread here to kind of look at Mercury retrograde energy and specifically ask a question if it's relevant for you of uh, can we get some advice and we'll look at in terms of a relationship of a heart spread uh, with the one that got away. Uh, this one that we can't get out of our minds. If you have such a person, this is often the one that comes back at Mercury Retrograde. It doesn't necessarily mean we want to hook up with them. They may not be alive, but, you know, it's what's in our minds. So uh, I believe it's in our minds, and Mercury Retrograde is designed to bring it up. That's the main point of it, not to break our machines. Um, then it's got to have meaning, you know, spiritual meaning. So kind of looking at that. So it's not really meant to look at an ongoing active relationship. That would just be the regular heart spread. Um, so let's take a look what we got here at the end of this Mercury Retrograde. And see what we have here. Shuffle a few times. Put some energy on them here. Did shuffle after the last read. Trying to get all of these out by uh, Sunday. Yeah. You can start next week's reads, and then you can check your regular heart uh, spread. So this one, I mean, you could be single, you could be coupled with your soulmate. You know your soulmate, that's a lot, but you know, maybe there is somebody. Yeah, there's that person. I really did figure out exactly why that was such a thing. Something like that kind of energy, you know. Uh, so we'll look at you and your person. You're in the first house, they're in the seventh. Get an idea how you're relating with them theoretically in your mind now. Okay. This is you. Wow, the hermit. I'd like to go back with this uh, to when the relationship first started. And uh, finally, I see one where I think it might have started a little bit later than adolescence. Um, but you are in some kind of a hermit mode. You know, the hermit goes inside, looks at themselves, introspection, you know, shuts off from the world, goes into their little cave. So it would have been a time in your life when that's where kind of your energy was. It could have been in college or kind of like I get grad school too, like deep into it. You know, wearing socks and heavy clothes in an apartment and eating uh, Raymond noodles and uh, bearing down on it. Wow. This is your person. Hmm. I get that you rejected them. This is their energy. They come into a relationship. But it's almost like they expected it. It's almost like you didn't exactly reject them. It had been more like, you know, I'm, I have to give all of my time to my work, my studies, my studies. And, you know, probably you had some kind of profound first house transit going right at this time. Saturn going through there, you know, and your Capricorn dominant to start with or something or Capricorn ascendant. Um, so something really strong there or an Aries that has a first house transit. And you were just like, I'm going to do me. I got to do me. Um, and that kind of left this person broken hearted. So you would be looking back and thinking, you know, maybe sometimes you think, gee, I, I wish I had taken them more seriously. I wish I hadn't been so either into myself or so involved in my studies, um, understanding myself. Could have been a time where you felt like you just weren't ready for a relationship. This could be therapy. You're, you're in therapy. You're still trying to figure yourself out. Shine light on yourself. And you're basically telling them, you know, really, I'm in no position to have a serious relationship right now. It would be fair to you. And maybe you're getting it because you're in therapy. And you're like, you know, it wouldn't be fair to me. That's the main thing. But it wouldn't even be fair to you to have a relationship right now. So I don't know when this was you're thinking of. So it might not be everything, every other reading, and we're on Scorpio, um, just Aries, started with Aries, it has been back to adolescence, back to adolescence. I think this is an adult uh, relationship that you formed uh, when uh, you're the one that's on your mind. Hanged man, look at this. 
So you got the hermit and the hanged man. This is their energy coming towards you. Um, the way you're feeling toward them, I mean. Let me look at their energy towards you. And they're coming in with the queen of swords. Look at this. And they go away. They're coming, the three of swords. And they're, the way they feel about you is the queen of swords. So they'd be very direct with you and confident even and kind of forceful. And you just like kind of passive. Uh, you might have ghosted them, at, you know, kind of energy. You put them off. You would be telling them they might have been very direct with you. Look, you know, we've been dating for three months or six months or three years or six years and I want to know what we're doing. I want to know where we're going or what's going on. And you're just like stalling and stalling here. And, you know, maybe, like I said, for good reason. Maybe you're, you know, trying or maybe you didn't tell them or you didn't really have the uh, awareness to tell them that you needed a minute. But you knew that you needed a minute and your body was making you take the minute, you know, uh, but you were kind of in the process of putting that together and they were at the stage where they just wanted a relationship. So your advice from spirits, the fool popping right up again. And in the position of advice, this is your advice towards this uh, relationship here. You see what their advice is. Holy shit, I did not expect this. I did not expect this. <laughs> we got a hookup, I think. If you want it, I'm going to put it this way. If you want this, I think you may you may have this. Let's see. Uh, now I want to look. This, these first six cards represent kind of sinistry. I'm imagining this as being this theoretical relationship. Just in your mind, that type of thing. And... Um, now I'm getting the feeling that, you know, it could be more than that. Um, and it's sort of like, because it is Mercury retrograde. Got the advice from spirit for you as the fool. Advice of spirit for them. Not only is this movement and moving towards you, because it's advice for them. This is the position of this. What is the advice from spirit for them with you? Move towards you. And in alignment with their own highest good. That's how I see the chariot. Always in alignment with the highest good. Now, what's your advice towards them? Be the fool. I mean, that's pretty clear. Go for it. I mean, it's coming under the hanging man. Now, look at this. <laughs> it's like the hanging man flips around onto the ground and goes, ta-da. And what is he? He's the fool. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's ready now. He's like, I've been hanging around long enough. I'm ready to jump, you know. Um, that's that kind of energy. I really didn't expect it to roll like this. Um, uh, but, you know, I read the cards and the flow of it. Eight of Swords. So there's something standing between you here. Wow. Um, I need to get a clarification on this. Tower. Holy shit. Eight of Swords in the Tower. This is in the foundation. There's something that's literally blocking this relationship. And it's this Eight of Swords energy. Now this is that being stuck in your own mind. You know, Eight of Swords, it's it's suck energy to me because it's like Nine of Swords feels like at least you're getting something out of it. It's terrible, but you're really feeling it. To me, this is kind of not even feeling it. It's sort of just going swirling around and uh, kind of just protecting yourself with many thoughts and not really sitting in, in your own pain. And something happens to, to change that. That's where the tower comes in. So major con the fool, major con a chariot, and coming between this eight of swords energy, which is very much minor con, very much is one's own thoughts of like limits and restrictions that really aren't there. You know, it's like they they're not really there. They're in your head, and so with this, it seems to me like there would be excuses. Well, my job. Well, my family. Well, my, and boom, the tower comes in and takes away somebody's excuse. Boom. And now they want to come towards you as if it's coming towards their highest good. And you want to release yourself from a maybe lifetime of introspection and hesitancy and caution. And you want to go for it here. 
with this queen of swords. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the outcome is the page of swords. Maybe that's all it takes. And the page of swords is looking at the queen of swords. You might be significantly younger than your person you're thinking of. Or you might just feel that way. You might feel like you're a little smaller than them. When I look at these together, but in both cases, they're, they're holding their sword and they're looking at each other. And when you think about it, you know, I uh, said the other day, you know, typically you might think, well, a queen of swords is going to want more substantial energy than a page. But on the other hand, history is cluttered with cases of kings and queens, apparently wanting pages, you know. So um, it definitely can, because it's in the outcome, I could see it being like, if, if, particularly if you lack confidence here, uh, Scorpio, um, if that kind of thing, and to you to reach out to them, uh, would involve this is where this eight of swords is coming from um, but maybe you lose your job or you uh, retire or something happens or they and something changes the circumstances where actually it becomes possible now for you to communicate and I see with the page of swords and it would be you taking the first step to communicate and it would be something very little and kind of humble and one of those things we all know those things hey like you haven't heard from your lover for years and years and they're like hey uh, how's things going are, are you doing okay and so it begins uh, Scorpio if you want I think with this person thank you guys like subscribe thumbs up uh, subscribe really help a lot tell a friend to tell a friend thank you